welcome to my channel it is your girl miss cascade i hope you guys are doing well if you're new to my channel welcome 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 i hope you will subscribe and follow me on all my social media twitter instagram and snapchat at miss cascade so today i wanted to do the weight loss journey tag and this was a tag that i saw from divas slim down um she had one so i thought okay well might as well do one as well because i really like the tag and she's so inspirational she lost over a hundred pounds in a year so i think she's just so inspirational i think you guys should follow her if you guys need any motivation she's definitely one of the people that i go to for motivation so yeah without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and do the tag so question number one is when did you start gaining weight with me i'd say i started gaining weight at the age of roughly eight like eight to nine inch and from then like i started like it started like a it was like a gradual process whereby i gained weight little by little until i got to the stage that i'm at right now question number two is what was your heaviest weight so my heaviest weight was actually my starting weight which was 122.8 kgs which is about three weeks ago and i was like no i have to make a change again okay, question number three is what diets have you been on i've been on ali i don't is it ally or something like that I, I it's like blue pills that you take and they make you basically poop and i don't know why i whispered that but if i had really bad experiences like there were some times that i would literally crap myself and oh my god it was a horrible experience so and i've been on other diets but I don't I don't remember the names for it but I've been on extreme diets where I don't eat anything like I try not to eat anything like the whole day except for water and that obviously didn't work very well okay so question number four is what is your goal number um, goal number size or goal on the scale basically with me I want to get to a size 12 jeans that is my aim I want to get to a size 12 in jeans I don't know I don't really care about the scales but I just feel like if I feel good then it wouldn't matter what the scale is telling me so yeah my aim is to get to a size 12 in jeans question number five is what is your favorite food my favorite food um is more of traditional Ghanaian meals i really love banko and okra and jello fries you know all the starchy things that are not good for me are the kind of things that i like pizza etc horrible for the body but that's the kind of things that i like um what is your favorite food now my favorite food now has to be chicken salad with mango love it it's absolutely delicious i know it sounds weird or at least it sounded weird to me when i first heard it but now i absolutely love it so much what food will you not give up okay one food that i certainly wouldn't be able to give up is rice but i'm still in the process of learning how to eat it properly you know and i can't do do with brown rice it's just not for me honestly so i'm just right now trying my best to get used to eating white rice moderately you know the right quantity and everything like that okay <clears throat> question number eight is how do you reward your accomplishment basically <clears throat> now 
I do every week. I have to have at least one cheat day. That's how I reward myself for staying on track throughout the week. But I think as time goes on, I'm going to reduce it to treating myself two weeks I'm like after two weeks I'll have a cheat day but for now I'm doing like after one week I have a cheat day and it seems to be working all right for me so far okay question number nine is what will you do what will what will you do at your goal okay so when I get to my goal one of my main things that I want to do is I want to continue this like I want this to be something like a learning lesson something that I can pick up very good habits from which I've already started like now when I'm thirsty the first thing I think about is water rather than juice so like I want to pick up all this kind of good habits that will just sustain me for like a good health so yeah it's just what I will do is just to continue this on as a tradition and um, question number 10 is what diet or plot are you following right now right now i'm not actually following a diet to be honest with you guys what i'm doing is um when i wake up i just have a grapefruit half a grapefruit and then i'll have like maybe green tea but the things that wait the things that i make sure that i do is i make sure that i have my grapefruit in the morning and before i go to sleep i make sure i have a liter of green tea and i make sure i have two liters if not three liters of water and i make sure that if i have carbohydrates i have it before three o'clock and my last meal has to be before seven so that's what i'm like that's what i'm following i'm not following like a like a diet if that makes sense but yeah what parts or what is your favorite part of your body my favorite part of my body has to be my ass sorry sorry my favorite part of my body is the bottom section number 12 is what are your non goals what are your non scale goals my non skill um, goals has to be being able to run like that's something that I really am aiming at I want to be able to run and by running I mean like daily like being able to go out for a jog for a run on a daily and like running like 5k every single day like I think that's the aim that's something if I start doing that I would feel so so much accomplished even more than the weight loss thing because I feel like at the moment I just climb up the stairs and I'm I'm gasping for air and it's just quite shaming really considering my age and then there's obviously some people that are much older than me but because they've got this good habit that they're able to sustain like the um, what's the word the you know the word able to sustain the i don't know they're able to go up the stairs without like breathing heavily anyway question number 13 what makes losing weight hard feel for me what makes losing weight hard for me is patience um, i feel like i'm a pay um, i have patience but my patience is quite short term if you understand what i mean like if somebody is really irritating me i could just shut off and like have patience for them but then it's sh it's like it's a sh it lasts for a very short period of time and when i want something i want something now that's the kind of a person that i am and that's been a, like that has troubled me a lot so 
when I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight like now. I want to sleep and wake up and find that I have an abs and looking all, you know, but obviously that doesn't happen. And I've learned it the hard way. It doesn't happen, guys. So I think that's one of the things that makes it hard for me is patient. Okay, number 14 is, would you ever consider a weight loss surgery? Well, to be honest with you, maybe lipo. Yeah, I probably would have lipo if I could afford it. Like, why not? Like, why not? But then the only problem would be like the after effects. Oh, bruv, I don't know. But if I could pay to get a weight loss, okay, do you know what I would do? I would lose weight, and then if I have loose skin, I would pay to get surgery to remove that skin. So yeah, I would pay for a weight loss um, surgery. Anyway, guys, that is it for the tag. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on all my ins my social media snapchat instagram and twitter at miss cascade ask me any questions you want my email is in the description box below and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions that you want me to answer you can feel free to leave them on all my social media platforms and i will be sure to answer them i love you for watching and make sure you watch my previous videos love you